what we now need to do is get the wheels to rotate as well. Let's put that back to the route. And we're going to do, like we did for the track, we'll use uh, another expression. Um, but this time, what we need to do is find out the diameter of each circle because to work out how far it must rotate we need to work out the circumference and the circumference of a circle is can be found out by multiplying pi by the diameter so if we switch to the side view create a measuring tool distance tool then we click top bottom of the wheel see there we've got the value which tells us the diameter and these two smaller wheels are the same so there we have the diameter of that again going to the expression editor I always put it on it by expression name because if you do it by object or attribute you could write an expression and as soon as you select a different object it goes if you do it by expression name it will uh, keep <coughs> excuse me it will keep the expression here until you do something else so let's do the, the big wheel first so left, front, wheel, rotate x, which is the direction we want it to rotate in, equals, track, left, control, Translate Z, sorry, divided by two times pi three point one four times and the diameter of the wheel is two is one point eight eight five. Then, like we did with the other um, expression, we have to times this by 360. Let's give the expression a name. Left wheel expression. Create. Just minimize that. So now, when we rotate this, the front wheel rotates too. Let's add in the other wheels. Uh, same expression. Left upper wheel, but we need to change the diameter, which is 0.85, and then the lower wheel. that see how this goes <coughs> so now turn selection highlighting the wheels are also turning with the track And that is pretty much the basic setup for this tread and wheels. It's not perfect. Um, there are some small issues with it. 
mainly with going past the minus value but as you can see it works fine um, you should maybe animate away from there if it's going to cause major issues there are more complicated approaches to this but they involve lots of scripting and expression creating and for for a simple rig like this this is absolutely fine you've got your your track control is determined by where you actually move your character rather than the time slider you've got some additional control over the wheels here so you can actually move the front and the back of the wheels independently what you could also do is adding some more wheels in the middle here and then you can have um, the track bunching up or moving up and down on the wheels there um, we're done with these distance tools now so we can get rid of them what you could progress to do now is in our first expression we have things like the track speed and the track offset and even the curve length what you could do um, and, and even for the tread direction if you want to have complete control over that is we can add attributes onto the controller and then point these values to those attributes so let's let's just add track speed just move that out of the way for the second so let's turn on that again um, modify add attribute um, track give it a name track speed we want it to be a float because it can be a point number so we've got track speed there there is track offset again another float add um, curve length so we'll call that track length we'll leave it at that for now so we currently have speed set to 57.5 offset 1.55 and the track length is 13.059 so if we open up the script editor we can see here these are the attributes that we've just set so <clears throat> in here we can say track speed rather than a value get whatever that attribute set up length there offset there edit close that and that and what we should see So that should be exactly the same which is fine but let's turn the speed down to 10 see it's moving a lot faster but it's also affected track spacing so for example if you want the track to skid but then we also have to edit the offset but you can do this interactively now rather than having to go in and edit that's roughly this around about right so now it'll be moving a lot faster like it's skidding on something so you can uh, 
add as many as you want there attributes to edit the track maybe like I said switch the direction you could even add it an attribute to edit the wheels um, maybe you'd like to you can tie it into the wheel expression to make the wheels skid as well or move faster or slower so it's all completely open and it's nice to have it all on this one controller here so if we bring back the robot that floor plane. So here we have him. As you can see the tracks are moving, his legs are moving with it. Well if you move them too far. <coughs> move the tracks up and down and also Slow, but that's just my machine. Drop these. These are all set to smooth mesh, so if I drop these down, might speed things up a bit. Yep. So as you can see, it can all move independently. So that's the basic track rig. Hope you've learned something from it. Um, like I said, there's there are some small issues with it, um, but it is mainly with going into negative values when you're animating it. Um, but for a simple setup, it's it, it's it's uh, it's perfectly fine, usable, animatable. And what you could do is take that and expand upon it and uh, improve. And uh, if you've got a way of fixing these. Uh, minor bugs um, I'd love to hear them so but for now you've got a nice animating tank tank track if you wanted to completely eliminate this space in the middle here you could when you duplicate the track duplicate it as an instance and then with your main track once you have the track in you could scale that um, and it will scale all the instances up slightly as well and then get rid of this spacing altogether. And that way you've got a bit more flexibility in um, uh, yeah, your, your overall size of your track. <coughs> all you need to do now is just replicate it over to the other side. You could try and just duplicate the whole setup and mirror it across but then what you'd have to do is fiddle with the expressions for that side because that wheel may work backwards because it's uh, been mirrored um, but as long as you if you mirror it you update the expressions as well it should work fine so there you go your tank track and this uh, this scene file will be supplied with on the CD with the magazine um, so feel free to open it up have a play around with it, pose him um, he's not textured, he's just got some basic shaders on him at the moment um, but yeah, have fun, thank you